Hey everyone, this is Sasha bringing you a video tutorial today from bp for You. Today we're going to be talking about split toning. Now split toning is a really awesome feature in Lightroom that you can use to give your photos some character. They sort of resemble fill layers from Photoshop, if you've ever used Photoshop, but it has its really own unique flair. So we can add a color to the highlights and a color to the shadows, and it doesn't have to be the same color. So there's a couple ways that we can do this. First way is I can open up this box and I can click around to pick a color that I want. And if I hold down my Alt key, I can sort of drag through here and decide where I want my colors to fall. You can see I can sort of change change how they look here. Um, and if I found a color that I was really in love with, if I come up here and I press Alt and I click, then I will have that color saved into my little presets up here. So let's go ahead and close this. There's another way that we can do this. So let's say we didn't have our saturation up very high and we wanted to use this hue slider here, but it's a little bit hard to see um, what color that we're picking and what tone that we're in. So if you press down the Alt key as you go through and slide through here, it's going to pull the saturation up to 100% until you pick the color that you want. When you pick the color that you want, you let go of the Alt key and it keeps your saturation down where you had it to begin with. And so then you would be able to pull your saturation up or down depending upon where you wanted that to be. So the same thing applies with the shadows, um, all those little keyboard shortcuts. So we can pull our saturation up on our shadows just a little bit. And let's pick a nice warm color for our shadows. So then we can play with our balance. So our balance decides whether our highlights are more of the priority color or the shadows are more of the priority color. So we can pick it somewhere in between to find our, our happy place that makes your picture have the look that you want it to have. So to see your before and your after, you can click on this box here and you can get a feel for where you are at with that. So one of the things that I like to use the split toning box for, personally, I like to use it to maybe fix up some skin tones sometimes if my skin tones I feel are a little bit wishy-washy. I can use the split toning box to give them a little punch and a little bit something more. Another way that I like to use it is just to add a nice, fun, pretty tone to pictures. Sometimes I like to use it to make pictures look whimsical or sometimes a little bit enchanting. Another thing that you can use this for is for black and whites. Don't feel limited to one or the other. The split toning panel works on both color and black and white photos. So if you have a black and white photo and you want to give it a little bit more dimension, maybe a vintage look, something sepia, um, the possibilities there. Um, could go on forever, but you can do that with the split toning panel. And so here is our official before and our after. And so we gave her skin um, a more warming glow touch to it with a little bit of a red hint or hue. And it sort of countered out some of that green that she has in there right now. And it's a more pleasing look to my eye anyways. So thank you for watching this video tutorial. Happy editing!